Hello po. Live na po tayo ngayon. Hello. Yes, good morning po. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, sorry po sa maraming maraming technical difficulties po. Iyon na. Uh. Good morning yes. po. Uh, Doktora, Prof. Uh, Clarita Carlos. Hi, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Loud yeah. and clear, <laughs> Professor. Yeah. Maraming salamat po ha, sa mga sa time, sa pasensya po. Uh, may technical difficulties po. And yun, inconvenient po talaga. Pero yun, uh, maraming maraming salamat po. Yeah. Ngayon, Kaka ha. Kakahaba-haba ng ano yun. So simbahan din ang tuloy. Sige. <laughs> Opo, we appreciate talaga. We appreciate your patience. And yes, ma'am, you're willing. Cute away, baka mawala na naman tayo ng umayon. Yes, let's go. Without further ado, Brother Marlon. <laughs> Yes, maraming salamat po. Ayun, ah, yan, sige. Ah, kumusta po kayo? Ah, aside po sa kwan, sa kumusta po kayo ngayon? Well, I'm just, um, I quit Facebook because there's so many evil people there. So, ang um, ginagawa ko na lang ay uh, nakikinig sa mga favorite uh, Beatles and Elvis Presley songs at uh, nagsasayaw mag-isa. Akala ng mga aso ko, nababaliw na ako. <laughs> Maganda, maganda yung mga Elvis songs po, po ha. No? Yeah, yeah. Siyempre. <laughs> Classic. Na classic. Yun, hindi nyo generation yun. <laughs> But yun. anyway, brother, yes, why we are here, why we invited uh, this uh, uh, honorable person for today para i-grace yung morning natin. Bakit kaya, brother? Oh, yes, may, we gotta talk about, tayo. We gotta talk hmm. about uh, politics. Uh, geopolitics, mm -hmm. international wow. re relations, and also this kind of new thing, game nations play and also climate change. We mm -hmm. will get the wisdom and the knowledge directly coming from our Professor Clarita Carlos. Yes, idulog po natin yan. Go ahead, Dr. Nelson. Just start the question. Okay, para wala nang, wala nang patumpik-tumpik pa. Ito yung unang tanong, uh, uh, Prof. Is Philippines would be open for parliament type of government? Well, depends. Uh, we've been doing this since uh, 1989, going around the country with Nene Pimentel, you know, Pepe Abueba. All of them are dead now. I think I'm the only one alive. And what we've been doing is really doing political education. What does federalism look like? And what does it mean to have a parliamentary system of government? So, you know, this is like, this is to be done yesterday. Otherwise, you'll have more of the same thing, you know. Pareho na naman na, ano, yung vetting ng who is going to run for what is done by self-proclaimed kingmakers. Na-notice niyo kanya-kanyang, ano, style, no? Yung isa, dineclare na lang ang sarili niya, running for independent. How can you run independent? And who's going to realize your promises in the Congress? Oh, yung isa namang party, dalawa naman ang kanyang standard bearer. I mean, it's so absurd. It's because you have a broken political party system, which you will not have if you have a parliamentary system of government. Wow. Grabe, no? Talagang... Coming from that, coming from that statement, Professor, Um, it means to say that the, our country does really need to have this constitutional reform. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> we need constitutional reform because the 1987 constitution was designed by Cory Aquino against Marcos. By the way, it's a very, very long constitution. It's a very talkative constitution. If I were not a political scientist, hindi ko babasahin yan. I'm sure kayo hindi nyo pa nababasa yan. Diba? So the yeah. next uh, time we have a constitution, dapat maikli lang, hindi masyadong madaldal, no? You want to present a federal form of government, a parliamentary system? Just describe them in broad strokes. Huwag mo lagyan ng nitty-gritty. Mm -hmm. Diba? Pati yung paggawa ng constitution, napaka-bobo natin. Kakaya mo. <laughs> 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 You're referring to, to, to Professor Riva, the 1987 yeah. uh, Philippines Constitution. Is it the something that we need to to reform, or improve, or amend? Or yeah. lahat ba? Because remember, <laughs> all of these things that you find in the 1987 came from 1935 
during the time of the American occupation. And this was uh, carried over to the 1973 Constitution during martial law. But look at what we did in the 1935 Constitution under the American occupation. Kinopya-kopya natin yung, ano, yung American ano, political system, di ba? Tanga talaga tayo eh. Tingnan mo, may Senate tayo. Anong gawa ng Senate? Dapat walang Senate eh. Hindi ka nga federal system. That's the reason why the senators, no? Nakita mo, nagwi-withdraw sila kasi naubusan na sila ng salapi. Diba? Samantalang sa federal system, you're only running in the state. I mean, in the sub-national unit. Ito, buong kapuluan eh. Sila yung umiikot. Nyaman naman nila. Parang Nelson eh. <laughs> Ang dalim ng kanilang kasalapian, di ba? <laughs> oh, uh, professor, uh, follow-up question. Uh, if we, if the, our country will be a parliament system, what would be the benefits and the difference that would be uh, going to happen if we going to embrace that kind of political system? If we have a parliamentary system, each of the members of parliament, we call them MPs, no? Member of parliament. We run only in the electoral district. But whoever is the um, the political leader who has the majority of the seats in the parliament becomes the prime minister or the chancellor. So, you know, in principle, the chancellor can be, uh, you know, can be the chancellor until he dies for so long as he continues to have a majority in the house. And then your campaign period would not be like this. Parang it's coming out of our ears already. Ang campaign period sa parliamentary system is only 10 days. Oh, wow. Less than two weeks. Mm -mm. And uh, the political party member relies on its political party to pay for everything, to pay for his radio, TV ads, to decide uh, if he's going to run for what position. There will be no term limits. You know, if uh, Marlon or Nelson or Narisa, you are members of parliament, if you continue to be voted by your electoral district, you can be a member of parliament until you die. So, walang term mm -hmm. limits, di ba? Wala yeah. din dynasty. I mean, ano naman, porke naman parehong apelido ninyo, eh, hinaharangan mo ng maboto. Do you yeah. see all the benefits? And the political party becomes the fulcrum of our political life. Yeah. Wow. Ah, uh, doktora, uh, prof, mayroon po akong tanong dito regarding sa <laughs> WPS. Ah. So, is there international laws governing the dispute in WPS? Oh, yeah. It's called the UNCLOS, United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Con uh, signatory tayo doon. Signatory din ng China. Mm -hmm. At yung apat na nag-aangkin dyan sa karagatan na yan, no? Pero notice na ang Amerika ay hindi signatory sa UNCLOS. So iba yung kanyang ini-invoke ng mga principles, yung you know, freedom of navigation, freedom of disease, freedom of communication, etc. No? These are all traditional international laws. No? But um, at bottom, at the end of the day, what happens in the contested South China Sea will be decided by force. That is what international law is all about. You know, kanya yung arbitral tribunal, just as a piece of paper. It's like the UN resolutions, you know. If they are not backed up by force, laway lang yan. Mm -hmm. So what is to be done? What is to be done is really to continue negotiating. We negotiated with, we negotiate with China. Kasi pinapag-agawan tayo ng US, ng India, ng Russia, ng China. Kasi tingnan nyo naman ang geography natin. Nakadapa tayo sa gitna ng Pacific Ocean. To the east of that is the U.S. Tapos to the west of the, um, the Philippines is China. Diba? And we're stupid people. We don't even recognize our uh, strategic location. Diba? Mm -hmm. I understand, uh, Doc, no? uh, yung uh, UN Security Council Permanent Five, which is uh, composed of China, France, Russia, UK, and USA. Now, you mentioned earlier about the UN clause or UN clause. Um, mm -hmm. Is there, yeah, noting that UN, UN clause is a committee from a uh, committee in UN. Now, um, I have, my question is: Does the UN Security Council Permanent Five, China, France, Russia, UK, and USA, has the right to interfere in the West Philippine Sea on clause decision? No, 
no one no one has any right to interfere in any conflict involving contests in airspace rival claims on land or rival claims over the sea these are all to be um agreed upon negotiated upon by the parties involved walang pakialaman UN yan and UN is also inutile well you notice sunod-sunod na yung ano Yeah. Pang-aapi nila kay Vladimir Putin, hindi sila makapasa because Putin and Xi Jinping have the veto power. You know, the earlier we realize all this, you know, the earlier we uh, shut off our mouths and uh, stop relying on the UN. Diba? Tama, tama. Uh, Nabanggit niyo po yung... Oh, sige, go, go ahead, Ms. Nerissa. Yeah, you've been, been mentioning about Russia and Ukraine. Um... Yung decision ba ni President uh, Slavinsky about sa ngayong ongoing na war, meron bang mali sa mga desisyon niya kung bakit ganito yung nangyayari? It's it's not yet ending eh. And then, andyan pa tayo sa middle ng war ngayon eh. Yung, yung Ruka- Ukraine. Kaninong at- decision? De- decision ni Duterte? Sa President, no, no, sa kay President uh, Slaven- uh, Le- Le- Slavinsky. Tama ba ako? Sa, so, so, ano Ukraine. pa? Sa so, Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah. The Ukraine. Ukraine. Hi, by the way, uh, you've got to read your history and alternative narratives. The mm-hmm. Zelensky who is uh, presented like, you know, guwapo-guwapo, akala mo, mm-hmm. uh, he's the uh, repository of virtues. Mm-hmm. He's not a Democrat, but an autocrat. Pinreso niya lahat ng mga opposition. Sinara niya lahat ng mga radio and TV stations ng opposition. Yan, he's a corrupt person kasi nandun siya sa may Panama Papers. So, you know, you guys, you know, you young people, you have to read many, many sources. Unfortunately, hinarang nila yung Russia today, hinarang nila yung Turkey today, you know? So, ang nadidinig nyo lang, yung CNN, yeah. BBC, etc. You're just, you're just hearing American viewpoints and European viewpoints. Di ba? Tignan mo, nagagalit sila doon sa ano, kay Vladimir Putin kasi sinara, yung, sinara niya yung gripo ng oil ng Bulgaria at saka Poland. Mm-hmm. Yan, ano naman ang ginagawa nila sa Russia? You know, pati composers at conductors, eh, binabawalan, sinasanction nila. Which is so absurd. Well, this is not to say that the invasion of Ukraine is just. Uh, there is no just mm-hmm. war. But you know, before you even make any determination in regard to Ukraine, you have to read up. Otherwise, you zipper your mouth. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I agree with that, uh, Prof. No, because uh, yung yung Ukraine is my uh, basing on the history, by based on research namin uh, sa history. Um, yung Ukraine po is my historical value sa Russia. So, mm-hmm. does the Russia has the right to reclaim Ukraine again? No, um, tama binenggit mo yung uh, historical value after Lenin. Um, overthrew the Tsar regime. Di ba pinatay niya lahat ng family ng Tsar? Pero may kwento na may isang anak na naka, naka uh, ano yun, nag-survive si Anastasia and there were so many legends about her. Kasi si Anastasia anak ng Tsar eh. Pero let's not go there anymore. After Lenin, they formed the USSR. Ang dalawang countries na nag-form ng core ng U- Union of Soviet so- Soviet Republics is Belarusia and Ukraine. So, ang, ang heart ng USSR are Ukraine and Belarus. That is why pag sinabi ni Putin na uh, ang ang ano, ang tibok ng puso ng Ukrainian at ang tibok ng puso ng Russian are the same. The same. Eh, yun ang ibig niya sabihin. Pareho sila ng history, pareho ng religion, oh. you know, pareho ng language, pareho ng kanta, pareho ng mga poems, ng mga fables, di ba? Uh. Ang may kasalanan yan kung bakit na talagang naduro nila si Vladimir Putin, ang Europe, ang NATO. Kanya nga, nako, Diyos ko, kailangan kayong magbasa ng alternative narratives kasi kung pinakikinggan nyo lang si Biden, eh, mali. Uh-huh. So tama, does it tama. mean, Professor, that uh, Ukraine has been persuaded in some way at some point by by the U.S. or by any group of alliance, like for example, UN? No, because the NATO, you know, Atlantic 
treaty organization that was formed in the 1950s at the start of the Cold War. Di ba yung Cold War nag-start uh, during the Korean War na maraming namatay din ng mga Pilipino kasi hinila ng Amerikano yung ating ano eh. U.S. pulled our legs into the Korean War. In fact, ang mga uncles ko nga, they fought there. Fortunately, they survived, no? Oh, So after the, the Korean War, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization was formed against the Soviet Union. Then uh, when the Soviet Union disintegrated in 1991, NATO was not supposed to expand, no? Dahil it's si ano naman si Zelensky, hindi naman nila kinukonsider niya kasi gusto nila democratic, eh, autocrat nga si Zelensky. And by the way, ilang beses nang nag, nag, uh, nag-apply ang Russia to be part of NATO. Every time, nire-refuse nila. You know, this is not to uh, justify Putin's action. This is for you guys as a scholars to understand everybody. You understand all the actors, huwag lang kayo nakikinig sa... Kay you, sa Europe o kaya kay Biden. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. Yes, it's my first time to really to be widen our perspective on things that have been happening between Russia oh. and also Ukraine. No? All the while we've been thinking this is really the, the, the reasons behind this kind of war. But hearing your point of view, Prof, it really encourages us to see beyond of the situation. No? Because... To read more. And also yeah. read more. Yeah, because it's yeah. Yes. Eh. just geopolitics, mm-mm, no? mm-mm. swimming in geopolitics. I'm 76 years old and I have been teaching for about 56 years. Because I started wow. teaching when I was 20. Wow. So, That's an amazing experience. Wow. Oh, Very complicated. But, you know, tong you know, to geopolitics is everybody's concern. It's not mm-hmm. just my concern. It is your mm-hmm. concern. Yes. Yeah. The fact na pinag-aawayan tayo dito sa region natin, aba, hindi nyo ba concern yan? Saan ba kayo? Mm-hmm. Kanya nga yung i-elect ninyong leader sa May 9, hindi pwedeng bobo. Kasi kailangan siya wily, strategic thinker, Machiavellian. No? Kasi hindi na alam kung saan tayo magsaside, sa China ba, sa Russia ba, sa India, o sa US. Di ba? Ayun. Uh, may uh, tanong pa ako dito, uh, Prof. Should Philippine government be worried about Russia and Ukraine war? Yeah, we should. Um, pero Nelson, I'm sure alam mo, ang taas naman ng gasolina, hindi lang dahil sa Ukraine. Bago nga Ukraine oh. talagang 85 pesos Mataas na siya. Na yeah. <laughs> pero na, na-exacerbate lang kasi 30 to 40 percent ng oil, natural gas, tsaka coal. Coming from... Uh, nanggagaling sa Ukraine and Russia. Kaya ta- marami yeah. talagang ano, nabalahaw dyan. Why should we be worried about it? Eh, kasi masyado nilang dinuduro si Putin. Baka mag-start ng nuclear war yan. Oh, eh, Dipat ay tayo lang. <laughs> Oo. Ito na. <laughs> may, mga, may mga agam-agam uh, proof, no? Kasi uh, may mga agam-agam na yung Russia posibleng i-reclaim yung Ukraine. Now, may agam-agam din na yung China posib- posibleng i-reclaim din yung Taiwan. Posible ba yun? Eh, magkaiba kasi yan eh. Uh, pag tinignan mo yung istorya ng Taiwan at saka China, yung natalo ni Mao Zedong, si Jiang Kai-shek, mm-hmm. hindi ba nag-exile siya sa Taiwan? Yes. Mm-hmm. Pero mm-hmm. Taiwan yeah. became a democracy. Pero ang mainland China, based in Beijing, became a socialist government. Oo. Mm-hmm. Ito naman sa Ukraine, part siya ng, ano, ng boundary ng Russia. Yeah. na sinabi ng Europe sa kanya na hindi sila mag intrude dyan sa boundary ng Russia. Russia doesn't want to reclaim Ukraine. Ang sinasabi niya ngayon, uh, yung mga Russians na natitira dyan, dun sa eastern Ukraine, yung Donbass na tinatawag sa yeah. Crimea, dapat protektahan ng Ukraine. Kasi ano eh, yan ang kanyang inaapi eh. Ayan, hindi na naman lumabas sa news ninyo. Nasa Crimea, ang ginawa niyang si Zelensky, mabait na si Zelensky, ay sinara niya yung tubig, patubigan, yung irrigation ng Crimea, na agricultural land. Oh, eh, siyempre, water is a cause for, ano, for, cause for war. Kanya ang unang binomba ni Vladimir Putin, yung dam na nag, ano, na, nag, uh, humarang dun sa tubig ng Crimea, where the Russians are located. Diba? So, you know, you have to know all this, ano, all these stories, eh. Kasi kung yeah. nakangawi ang story mo, 
tulad ng ginigiwi nila Biden, no? Tsaka ng Europe, eh din yung way din yung analysis mo. Dapat talaga, yung marami kami natutunan ngayon, uh, Prof, no? We have we have to learn a news from both sides, not not biased based. Uh -oh. Yes, which is good, you have which to, is good. Uh, yeah, Objective when you have American several American. actors, like si Putin, si Biden, NATO, European Union, Poland, etc., pakinggan mo lahat ang sinasabi nila. Hindi pwede nakangiwi lang yung ano, na si Biden lang pinapakinggan mo. Tama po. Professor, may I ask, who 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 really controls control the information even the the, the news that being uh being released who really controlling it and also even um, are you talking local or ano foreign the foreign uh, the foreign <laughs> yung local alam mo na <laughs> yung mga broadsheet <laughs> ewan ko kung meron pang bumibili sa inyong diaryo ako hindi na ako bumibili ng diaryo no sasayang lang ako lang ano ko sa lapi ko Pero pag nakita mo yung uh, yung Western bias, yung mga New York Times, Financial Times, you know, Washington Post, yan, lahat yan nakangiwi in favor of American interest. Di okay lang. Pero, pero yung mga ibang alternative press, talagang hindi makaano yan. Pati nga Facebook, hinaharang nila yan eh. Natandaan nyo you noon, know, nagalit yung Facebook kay Donald Trump at yung Twitter. Nung ginawa, hindi ba? Mm. <laughs> Kinansel yung ano. Yung mm. subscription ni Trump. The account niya. <laughs> Tama. Oh. Now, uh, we we move to a uh, climate change question. Every year, Philippines is a super highway of typhoons in LPA. Obviously, we cannot control weather. What can be done in order for Philippines to shake off easily in each calamity? Well, the, the word, uh, when you introduced me, you said I am part of a foundation calling for adaptation and risk mitigation. Risk mitigation means mitigation means you reduce you reduce the danger, you know, the consequences. The impact. Well, mm -hmm. hindi mo na naman mababago yung ano eh. <laughs> yung estruktura natin bilang archipelago, no? With mm -hmm. 7400 islands. Ang gawin mo, mag-adapt ka na lang. Kasi talagang yung mga bagyo na yan, 28 of them, talagang sasalpukin tayo. Kasi nandyan nga tayo sa gitna ng Pacific Ocean at South China Sea. Diyan ang gagaling yung mga bagyo. Yeah. Yeah. So ang gagawin mo, ba't di paalisin mo yung taong nagtatatag ng, kabuh ng, ano, ng kanilang mga bahay dyan sa may tabi ng karagatan? Hindi, ang ginagawa natin, eh, pinaulit-ulit natin. Eh. Sige, babalik na naman sila, magtatatag na naman sila ng bahay dyan, magre-rescue na naman tayo. Hindi ba katangahan yan? Uh -uh. Oh, so dapat sabihin mo, bawal ho kayong magtatag dito sa tabi ng dagat ha. At saka mga binibili niyo mga beach beach area na 'yan ay nako lalamunin ho 'yan ng dagat kasi 'yan ho ang climate change. Solid uh -huh. ho yung science niyan. We can do a lot actually. Mga ano, mga risk mitigation ano, yung arkitekto ng bahay niyo. Natandaan yung mga dating bahay na ano, yung may mga posi, tapos sa ilalim nandun yung mga baboy at saka mga kambing, tapos mm. ang tinitirhan nyo lang sa taas. Nanotice yeah. nyo, yung ano, yung, uh, yung tubig hindi ba nagdadaan lang sa ilalim ng bahay? Yeah. Eh ngayon kasi hindi ganun eh, kasi yung silong mo, ginawa mo din tirahan. Pero tingnan mo yung bahay na yung silong hindi tirahan, eh di nakatayo pa yung bahay mo. Oh, man, yun nga eh. <laughs> Oo nga, no? Na, First boss niya, ano? Napaisip din ako, eh. Oo nga, no? <laughs> yung structure sa mga ipagaw yata, ganun pa rin. Until now. Tika, Most, mostly natin, eh. mostly so, in the province. Uh, yeah, uh, in the also, province, meron pa. I also experienced the same kind of structure of our house. We oh, house. yung bahay namin noon. <laughs> we have this. Yun pala yung purpose. Yun pala yung purpose, <laughs> yun pala yung purpose ano. Isa, isa sa mga purpose. At saka, hindi ba madalas yung naglalandestide sa ano, sa gilid ng ano, ng bundo? Bundo. Ba't ka naman magtatatag ng bahay mo, Nelson? Alam mo na maglalanslide. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nag-recreate ka ng risk. <laughs> Napaka-risky sa buong pamilya pag nagtatatag ka ng bahay doon. Uh -huh. no? Tama, di ba? <laughs> ayun, ayun. Meron po akong isang question dito. Mula to kay Miss Nerisa din. What immediate action should be taken by the government to at, uh, to at least lessen the carbon footprints? Um, a, a lot really, no? Um, but kasi ang, ang dami talagang sakripisyong magagawa eh. 
Mm-hmm. Like yung ating, um, ang tawag ito, yung mga kotse natin ngayon, kailangan mas- maging electric vehicle siya. Kasi oh. kung electric siya, hindi ka na gagamit ng gasolina, na diesel, no? na lahat na ang laki-laki ng carbon footprint niyan. Yan, nagko-contribute yan sa, ano, sa carbon at saka sa methane. Ano? Oo. Pagkatapos, kasi pag uh, yung electric vehicles mo, dapat manggagaling siya sa solar energy, sa winds, mm-hmm. sa biomass. No? Pero can you imagine ilang milyong kotse ngayon ang hindi na po pwede pag nag-move ka sa, ano, sa electric vehicles? Mm-hmm. Pero ang maganda niyan, mm-hmm. ang Pilipinas kasi ay napakayaman sa minerals. We are the fifth most mineralized country in the world. Wow. Meron tayong rare earth, may chromite tayo, may lithium tayo, may nickel. Lahat ng kailangan ng electric vehicle, meron tayo. Mm-hmm. Kung pag din gagamit lang natin ang utak natin, we can really be so rich, you know? Kasi nasa ilalim ng lupa natin lahat ng kayamanan eh. But we're wow, stupid man. people, so... Yung mga nakaka, di ba, mga yumayaman lang, yung mga conglomerates na meron silang capacity na maghukay no? at magmine. But we are very, very rich, believe me. Kanya nga yung mga nawawala ng pag-asa sa atin. Sabi ko, ba't mawawalan ka ng pag-asa? Hindi naman disyerto ang Pilipinas. Ang ganda-ganda nga ng Pilipinas. Eh. Oo, ang dami-dami nating mga, ano, mga professionals tulad nyo, Nerisa, Nelson, Marlon, ako, scientists, di ba? Oh, put together yung resources natin at saka human resources. Sus Mario Josep. We will become a developed economy in no time at all and we will be the leader of Southeast Asia. Kanya nga gusto ko yung sinabi ni Bongbong Marcos that he really wants to be the leader in the region. Siya lang ata yung taong na presidential na nagsabi niyan, di ba? Yes. <laughs> oh, tama po. We have a question uh, coming from Faida Lukman. Mm-hmm. Comment section. Uh, oh, may comment section now. Questions po. Yeah, knowing, knowing that, that the Philippines, Philippines has, hey, go ahead, bro. has a very b- biased media, how can an ordinary citizen have an informed decision in electing officials, especially for the national elections, which will shape the next six years of our lives? Yeah, from Faida Lukman. Well, um, hi, hi. Nanguna, you do your own research. Alam mo na palang bias yung media na binabasa mo eh. Ba't mo pa binabasa din? Nagsasayang ka lang ng panahon. <laughs> diba? Nakikita mo naman sa Facebook eh. Nagbubungguan talaga yung sources na yan. No? Pero as much as possible, um, siguro magtanong ka dun sa mga reliable sources. No? Um, I don't know how you're going to do that. But you know, you people are very fortunate kasi ang dami yung sources ngayon. Nalulunod nga kayo sa disinformation, no? Uh, siguro maging giya nyo lang is uh, given the very complicated world that we just described a while back, you cannot elect somebody who's nothing between he, he, between her or his ears. Kawawa naman tayo na tayo magsasuffer sa katangahan ng tao for the next 2,000 days. di ba? Okay, wow. Thank you very much for that uh, wonderful uh, answer po. May isa pang question dito sa comment section po. Uh, paunlakan natin. Good morning, ISP. Good morning, Prof. My question po for Prof is, do you think po ba that the world or even our country is doing enough effort to improve the environment resources to survive climate change? Oh, yeah. We're doing a lot. I think uh, we have many, many NGOs. I am part of a group called the Bamboo Warriors of the Philippines. Ooh. Alam mo, bamboo is a grass, but, uh, you know, that is the, it's a major erosion uh, retardant. Ital itanim mo yan sa ano sa merong water source ay nako talagang mawawalan ka hindi wala wala ka ng landslides no kasi yan talaga ang magpipigil ng landslides yan talaga ang uh, mag uh, ano magi-store ng water at i'm sure you know naman ang bambu kinakain yan yung labong ginagawang bahay at ang bambu talaga pag i-compare mo siya sa steel no ang kanyang tensile strength Guess mo kung sino mas maano uh, mas malakas ang tensile strength ng ano pag hinila mo yung dalawa ang bambu at saka ano steel. Mm. Ang bambu. Flexible okay. kasi din. Mm-hmm. Nakikita ko din yung bambu uh, doc no uh, to be fair din yung gina- yung ibang ibang lalo na sa Hong Kong yung ginagawa nilang scaffolding bambu. Bambu yeah, yung ginagawa yeah. ng scaffolding. Mm-hmm. Oo. Grabe. Yeah. Kasi yung bambu, I'm sure alam nyo, 
siguro nasugat ka na niyan ano kung tinray mong hawakan yung ano yung sharp end niyan maraming yeah. beses na nasugat yung mga, <laughs> mga curiosity pag, ng baka di ba <laughs> yeah alam mo pag pag nagcontest yung steel ano ba yung steel sa tagalog yung steel at saka yung bamboo nakal mm-hmm. talo yung steel panalo yung bamboo Oh, di ba? Tayo talaga, may, ako just me, napaka-spoiled natin. Ang dami-dami nating uh, natural resources, no? Complain tayo ng complain tayo. Pag nagtapon lang ng buto dyan, tumutubo, no? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine yung mga ano, bansa na disyerto yung kapaligiran nila? Miski, yeah. ilang buto yung exactly. tinapon nila, walang tumutubo. Di ba? Oo mm-hmm. nga po eh. Bless po ta- talaga yung Philippines. Bless po talaga. So, mayroon pa isang tanong dito. Medyo... Ibang, medyo, medyo lihis to ah, pero matanong lang din namin. Is the Philippines ready for same-sex marriage? Maybe let's not use the term marriage kasi ang marriage uh, is uh, really secret. for one male and one female. Yeah. Same-sex mm-hmm. union. So why yeah. Same-sex union. Okay. After all, uh, ang Europe lang naman nagsabi there are, that, there are two genders, eh, male and female. But I'm sure uh, if you look at nature, Eh, ano yan, spectrum yung, danger, yung gender, eh. hindi lang naman male and female, di ba? Siguro, um, whenever you have uh, questions about, you know, uh, who we are and how to explain things, you look at nature. Alam mo yung meron silang favorite fish sa Australia, yung baramudin? Mm-hmm. That baramudin fish, no? Siya ay lalaki pag siya pinanganap. Pero habang siya nagiging adult fish, nagiging babae siya. So what does that tell you? Diba? Oh. Diba? So, Ma research ko nga yan, Doc. Ma research ko nga yan, Doc. So, let them May have same-sex union. Ba? Kasi yan, for tax purposes, you know, for some other things. Why not? Huwag nyo lang yeah. gamitin yung word marriage kasi yung marriage meron ng ibang definition. Eh. Okay. Yeah. Sige po, maraming salamat po. Ayan, meron isa pang question dito na medyo please. Are you in favor of medical marijuana? Of course. Legal na nga yan. Eh, ano eh. eh di pag uh, pinalabas mo yung medical marijuana, eh, di masaya lahat, no? Kasi yung mga iba tagal, <laughs> la, talaga, lalo na yung may mga... Uh, uh, it's uh, used to, to cure uh, epilepsy, di ba? Uh, it's Tama also uh, 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 cure for imbis na nagpaprosak-prosak uh, ka. Di, um, minung ka na lang ng ano, magmuya ka na lang ng dahon dyan, magtanim ka sa tabi mo ng ano, marijuana. at ano para mag magkalma ka it has a calming effect no oh, so uh, why not let's use medical marijuana yeah yeah and yan 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 no oh, okay ito, ito pa asige ah, bro sige bro ano ba yung sayo bro yan yeah, no, let's talk about the nuclear uh, energy okay. program so, yeah. uh, is the philippines ready to transition for this kind of energy yeah um Again, yan na naman yung pinasaran nitong ano no, yung nag-take over kay Marcos si Cory Aquino. But that nuclear power plant in uh in Bataan at that time was internationally compliant. Now, um the only challenge with nuclear energy is you really need to pay attention to that, you know. Countries uh, who have very very fine uh, monitoring procedures like Japan, mm-hmm. nakita naman nangyari sa Fukushima. Up to this time, I merong problema, uh, you know, how to get rid of the the water. Um, bagama treated na ay ipapa, ipapalabas nila sa Pacific Ocean. Siyempre, magkakadugtong yung dagat na yan. Eh, di baka yung mga fish natin, eh, nag, uh, nagpara na silang Christmas lights, ano, dahil uh, ano sila. <laughs> dahil merong Nuclear, yung, uh, nuclear at infested yung water. <laughs> But yeah, oh. nuclear energy is something to consider. The science there is solid. We only need mm-hmm. fine monitoring um, mechanisms to make sure that the mistakes of Chernobyl, you know, uh, and some other uh, and Fukushima will be learned. Wow. Okay. My follow-up question dito, uh, Prof. Uh, if the Philippines will be able to establish nuclear as an energy source, what kind of impact will this send to the world? I don't know that the world will be affected by our decision. All around us are, are already countries uh, which use uh, nuclear energy. Sa France nga, 80% ng kanilang energy eh, from nuclear power, no? But uh, kasi tayo, mahilig tayo sa kaburaraan eh. Maraming burara sa atin. Hindi pwedeng burara. Eh, di, you know, 
magkakaroon ka talaga ng nuclear disaster dyan. So, there is a tremendous need for uh, strict monitoring when you decide to develop nuclear energy. Pero ano naman, ang dami-daming, hindi nyo ba na ano ang init-init ngayon? O, ba't hindi natin gamitin yung ano, power ng sun? O, the wind, power, the biomass, oh, oh. Thermo, uh, thermo, ano, uh, energy, thermal. thermal energy. Di ba, ang dami-daming volcanoes all over the 7400 islands? Geothermal, o nga, no? Wow. Geothermal and solar. Med medyo mahal nga lang yung ano ng solar, pero I think it's very, ano, it mas efficient siya kasi clean siya. But it needs talaga ng, anong tawag dito, malaking halaga. But I think it's a, a good investment, best investment, kasi meron na rin sa mga mamayan na gumagamit na rin eh. Yes, yes. The resources are available, however, we just need to really came up with the technology where we could uh, maximize the the potential of these resources na magamit natin no, for benefit no no lahat kasi as mentioned by professor no he, he she kept on really telling us that really our country has a wide sources of uh, minerals raw materials, raw materials mm -hmm. and even energy that um she directly telling us that we are not utilizing these resources to the maximum so we opt to use another alternatives that mm. which would also affect the climate change diba and by this time prof a uh, question knowing this kind of uh, uh information how mm -hmm. can really our country transition able to uh, to really to have to make a change in tapping these resources is a uh, uh, into a maximum use. Ano mga kailangan, Prof? Ano yung tingin mo? Kasi kami, as, as an ordinary citizen, we are used to doing or using what we are doing, using what we have right now, no? But hearing coming from you, Prof, ano yung mga kailangan natin gawin? Ano yung mga action steps or action plans? Anong kailangan baguhin? Anong mga kailangan gawin? Para at least we're gearing towards Ako, that. Ako napakarami, no? Kanya nga, uh, mag-umpisa ka... Marlon sa big political uh, political changes na political structure mo move towards sa parliamentary system kasi pag may parliamentary system ka na uh, as you will notice wala nang hidwaan between the executive and the legislature because the legislature uh, the executive is part of the legislature yung prime minister galing siya sa parliament yung cabinet members galing sila sa parliament at um, okay. makikita mo na kapag a member of parliament, members of parliament will be electing people like you, Nelson, Nerisa, Marlon, uh, you know, intelligent people, then you can change things. You can change the face of our politics. And you, you don't need uh, salapi to win. As I said, you only need to lean on your political party. He will pay for everything. But uh, at the same time, you have to be loyal to your party. You cannot mm -hmm. change political color anytime you want to because that will be political suicide. So you, yeah. you can see there are so many elementary systems. Why we are not adopting that? I'm sure I have done like I've appeared in the meetings 10,000 times. Nagsasayang lang ako ng oras diyan sa mga tao na yan. Ano, pag nagpresent ako, kung nagpapresent ako, nagde-text, nagde-telepono, o kaya ang pinapadala, chief of staff nila. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nagsasayang lang ako ng oras na ano, para nag, naglalahad sa kanila kung ano yung maganda sa federal system tsaka sa parliamentary system, sa bureaucratic reform. But all this can be done if you just open your minds to revising our constitution. We can do that. Eh. In July, the Congress can constitute itself into a constituent assembly and then come out with a draft. Next year, 2023, we have a referendum for the public to vote on the new constitution. 2024, we have a new parliament. Diba? It can be done if you want to. Diba? If there is a commitment to do it, diba Nelson? Kung gusto lang, yes. then why not? Wow. Um, yeah, may uh, question din ako dito, Doc. Uh, if given a chance to shape the next admin's foreign policy, either as an advisor or as cabinet secretary, what would you advise to the new president? Well, the first thing I'll advise the new president, if I'm asked, ah, alam nga naman mag-volunteer ako. Yeah, no? pa. <laughs> yes, pa. Is to review the Mutual Defense Treaty. 
say the mutual, mutual defense. defense treaty was signed in 1951 ratified in 1952 at kitang-kita natin na uh, wala yung automaticity na nasa NATO and uh talagang dehadong dehado tayo dito so if the new president wants to move away from the United States of America then we will take the position of neutrality but you know it has to be a neutrality which is an armed neutrality mm-hmm. how is it able to do that as i said um the new president will really have to be a strategic thinker kasi talagang maraming maraming malalaking uh, desisyon na kailangan siyang gawin right now uh, russia has been for many years asking to train and exercise with our afp kanya nga may defense attache sila dito at humihingi sila ng status of forces agreement ang status of forces agreement kasi it will govern the conduct of the russian troops here when they exercise with our military so ano so those are the things that the, the new president will have to think about no so the new president can not be naive hindi pwedeng bobo no hindi pwedeng uh, hindi niya pwedeng bibitbitin lang yung consultant niya especially in a crisis situation in a crisis situation ba Nelson yung consultant mo tatanungin mo syempre yung sarili mong ano no katalinuhan ng ano pagbabasihan mo tama ba tama po tama po ayan oh ayan before we uh, we uh, show the last question mayro bang additional question si Miss Nerisa at si Bro Marlon I think I want to talk about also Bro, going back to the WPS no? uh, currently this is being uh, covered by un- Uniclos or uh, Unclos uh, what are what is the claim of our country Philippines under the United Nations Convention of the Law of the Sea which is the the Uniclos what is the question again uh, Marlon what is the Philippines claims what is under the, Philippine the claims uh, under the Unclos Well, ang Philippine claim natin uh, under the own clause is hindi ba yung ating territorial waters, yung contiguous zone, yung exclusive economic zone. Unfortunately, yung exclusive economic zone overlaps with other claims, no? Pero siguro, sa suma total, bakit naman natin i-divide ang karagatan? Kaya nga hmm. dapat, kailangan tayong mag-negotiate sa China, sa Malaysia, sa Vietnam, sa Taiwan, no? sa Brunei. Yat, anim na yan na nag-aagawan dyan sa karagatan na yan, na talagang pag-usapan natin at i-treat natin yung karagatan na isang ecology lang. Mm-hmm. Isipin niyo ha, yung mga hinaharvest ng China sa kanyang lugar, sa jurisdiction niya, eh parang pinanganak sa Palawan. Ikaw ba naman, nakakakuha ba naman tayo isang galunggong yan? Di siyempre, hindi. Kasi nga doon siya lumalaki sa lugar ng China eh. So mm-hmm. ngayon, ay nagsusulat ako ng libro on regional fishing agreement. Kasi palagay ko, ilalayo natin ito sa territory, sa sovereignty issues, at magandang pag-usapan ng isda. Yeah, after all, yan naman ang ating hinahabol dyan, eh, food security, di ba? So, hindi naman po pwedeng food secure ang China, tapos tayo eh, nag-import pa tayo ng galunggong. So marami pang dapat gawin, eh, but all this will have to be done through negotiations. Yeah, uh, follow-up question, Prof, no? Uh, does the unclosed decision enough or our uh, country Philippines should escalate the WPS matter to UN Security Council permanent uh, five? Just go on. Just Sabi go. nga natin kanina, huwag na tayong maglahad sa UN. Ano? Wala namang magagawa. Niyo. That's an inutile organization. No? But so long as any one country there will uh, use the veto power, China will use the veto power. No? O, oh, di wala ka rin. So, nagsasayang ka lang ng oras to bring it to the UN. Biyaan mo dito yes, na lang natin pag-usapan. Yun naman ang sinasabi ni Xi Jinping eh. Mm-hmm. Pag-usapan natin to. Shared future. Pero sabi ko nga kay Xi Jinping, eh, kung sinasabi mo shared future eh, pwede bang makisausaw kami dyan sa pagdebuho ng shared future na yan. <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Oo, makisausaw dun sa sa dagat nila, di ba? Oo. Pero, noting that, noting that, Prof, ha, meron akong follow up question sa follow up question ni Marlon kanina. Na ngayon kasi we, noting that we uh, meron yun clause which is yan uh, committee po ng UN and then meron din pong uh, yung members ng UN Security Council Permanent 5. Now 
Ah, uh, wala talaga no. Pa- may decision ba talaga kasi either ano ba uh, wala talagang gagawin or may kung may gagawin man ano ba votation ba yan? 5 at uh, 3 is to 5 kasi syempre China member siya ng permanent 5 eh. So hindi siya magbo-vote kung may votation man. May ba, may mga ganung situation. Uh, I don't think uh, it is used just to bring it to the United Nations. Meron na nang ginawa si Aquino, 'di ba, yung arbitral tribunal. Pero yung arbitral tribunal kasi simply declared na yung claim ng China yung 9 dash line niya ay walang basis. Pero hindi pa sabi natin at the beginning of this program, if you don't do not have force to support uh what you claim, eh dilaway lang 'yan. Eh kasi ano eh, dapat kung ano yung kiniklaim mo, talagyan mo ng pwersa. Kung wala siyang force, wala lang. It's only a piece of paper. Huh? Yun. Eh. Yeah. Sige. So, ito na po tayo sa last question po ah. Yeah. What can you adv- advise to the new electorate or voters of our country that will vote this May 2022? Walang advice ko sa inyo ay pag-isipan nyo mong mabuti kung sino iboboto nyo at kailangan kayo may kodigo kasi mahirap pong mag-isip ng labindalawang senators at pagkahaba-haba po ng balota. No? At kung yun hong mga re-electionists, alam nyo nang magnanaka at bobo, eh wag nyo nang ilalagay yung pangalan nila yan. Eh, kayo na may kasalanan yan kung alam nyo na nga nag, ano, korap yung tao tapos nilalagay nyo pa, sinishade nyo pa yung pangalan. And lastly siguro, ano, uh, talagang kailangan natin ng presidente who is fairly intelligent, who's wily, who's Machiavellian, and who is a strategic thinker. Ayun, ayun. Ah, yeah. doktora, alam na alam po namin na yan po yung last question namin na, pero may pahabol lang yung sa comment section. Paulang ka lang po natin. Uh-huh. Since scientist po tayo, so ito po. What can you say about Elon Musk idea about moving people and establishing a new government to Mars and the possibility of humans having microchips on our brains? Tapos so, Mario Josep, yan si Elon Musk, hindi niya alam kung saan lalagay yung salapi niya, no? Huwag ka na muna mag ano, sa dami dami ang mahihirap dito sa Pilipina, sa planeta natin, na Earth, eh. Pupunta ka pa sa Mars, please. Solusyonan muna natin ang ano, problema natin dito sa Earth. O baka naman, Mars na naman is another real estate to quarrel about. Ay, nako, Ewan. Anyway, uh, I think I can, can I can I inject sure. uh, one question. Go, go. You've, go yeah, ahead. you've been mentioning prof about uh, Marisa, uh, can you uh, yes. this is speak uh, no clearer hindi kita naintindihan actually. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now, ma'am? Prof. Okay. Regarding I can hear you, but it's uh, uh, how do you call it? Uh, I could barely understand. I can okay, hear I'm you sorry. but I could barely I'm understand. Lang, oh. Ah, sige pa. Okay. You've mentioned a while ago about... Type. Maganda kasi pag nakatype yan, binabasa ko lang eh. Ah, okay. Sige po. <laughs> ah, sige, sige. Kiro Nelson, if you can hear Nerisa better, yeah, that's yeah, where you should... Yes, I can type the question. I can hear Nerisa Nelson better. Eh. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Kindly reiterate na lang, brother, no, regarding... Because she mentioned a while ago about Machiavellian. Because uh, it seems that there is a positive and negative connotation about that Not certain term. Oo, sobrang sobrang malalim yan eh. Al- alam namin. So can you give me a little gist of of what is Machiavellian na para ma- ma-enlighten naman yung lahat about that term? Kasi it's not common para sa lahat eh. Yeah, Nelson, can you interpret for me? Uh, Machiavellian, <laughs> what's your uh, what's your own definition of Machiavellian? Well, um, Machiavellian has two major uh, works, The Prince and The Discourses. I have received a lot of flack in regard to how I have interpreted Machiavellianism. Machiavellian is a, Machiavelli, Niccolo Machiavelli, was an advisor of uh, the Medicis in Florence, Italy. It was not yet Italy, of course, before then. And he advised the political leader to have the moral probity, to have the moral imperative, to think of the common good, and to be able to stay in power by wily means. But many people misinterpreted me, and they have not even read The Prince and the Discourses. So I always tell them, hanggang hindi nyo nababasa in The Prince and the Discourses, will you please just shut up, no? 
Yeah. Before you debate yeah. with me. Hello. Yun, ah, kung wala na po tayong question sa comment section at uh, sa host, maraming salamat po uh, Dr. Clarita Carlos sa time nyo po, sa insight, sa lahat ng mga ideas at sa pasensya po sa mga technical difficulties earlier po. So maraming salamat. Uh, we are yeah, don't worry. Maybe if you have fixed your technical glitches, uh, we can have <laughs> can a have better reception rather than me yes. listening to you through my Nokia. Hoy <laughs> matibay yung Nokia ha. Matibay ya. Syempre analog ata to. <laughs> so maraming salamat po and yeah, uh, we are so blessed and we are so honored na to have you here. And yun, in behalf of I, I before I yun, before we we'll end brother, let's just uh, shout out those uh, our, yes. from the comment sections and also our viewers. Marami pong nagiiidolo okay. po sa inyo uh, doktora. <laughs> So, ito yun know, dito sa mga comment section. At yung iba, pwede naman ma-replay to in, in the later part. Yeah. So, yun. Uh, marami. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Shout out to the elections, to Fida Lukman, uh, Brother uh, Sky. Let's take technical glitches. And, no? um, my yes, work yes. as a scholar scientist is really to expand your horizon of knowledge and to yes, share with you what I have learned for the past uh, 76 years of my life. Don't worry, magiging 76 din kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Sana po aabot kami diyan sa edad na yan ha. Sana po talaga. Oh, ba, oy, na sa 70s po. Gusto ko ata maging 100 years old. Alam mo kung bakit? Bakit? Kasi bakit pag, po, bakit pag 100 ako, merong ano, naghihintay na gantimpala ng 100,000. <laughs> Ay, oh, may yes. oh, oh, may benefits po 'yun. Wow. Looking forward for that, ma'am. Looking forward for that po. Yeah. Sige, thank you Pro sa inyo. Um, Nelson, Pro 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 thank you for inviting me. And despite the thank technical sa glitches, I think we had a good uh, conversation. Exactly. Ma. Thank we you are so much. Honored. We are so grateful. We are so grateful po, uh, Doc. Salamat. Sige, po. till next time, guys. Take good care. Bye-bye, Paul. Take care. Take care, Prof. Ingat po. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, ang galing. Amazing, amazing experience na na nag-guess natin si Dr. Carita Carlos. Although meron tayong one, number one, number two, uh, technical difficulties, but we have to uh, the, the show must go brother. on. The show <laughs> must go on. So yun, exactly. we, we, we do alternative uh, alternative ways to communicate with her. So yeah. Ah, may, yes, thank you very uh, much. And we, we, shout out natin yung mga yung shout out. Shout out natin yeah, yung mga, go. Natin, mga kaibigan go, natin. Go ahead bro. Shout out to Faida, uh, Lukman, Brother Sky. And Joy Samson, shout out. And also Jacqueline Katipon, shout out. And also Peter Bryan, sumabat, my brother. Sana wow. all intelligent. <laughs> Peter si Bryan, shout out, bro. And also my Even friend, Clay Mark Titong. And the artist, the music artist, yan si brother Remark. No? And also uh, Fight Da, and uh, lastly, si Evelyn Cab Cabulera. Humabo si oh. Joseph Selpo. Ah, Joseph yeah. Zenfo. <laughs> oh, sa comment section. Hi, bro. Kamusta? <laughs> hello. Our batchmate in RT RTDBA. Wow. Hello. Hello po. Hello po. So maraming hello. salamat po sa mga nakinig, tumambay, at nakikomment sa comment section. Ah, maraming salamat din sa guest co-host mo namin, si Miss Nerisa. Thank Guarin you. Inanikong time. All the way <laughs> from Iloilo City. All the way from Iloilo City. Thank you. And uh, Marlon, all the way from Ortigas. Wow. Tigas, grabe, no? Mga mayayaman yung nandiyan, no? Oo. Oo oh, nga eh. And Ako I'm Nelson ni, from Cebu City. Nabanggit ni Prof kanina, di ba? We could have yes, this interview again uh, for the second time. So, maybe yes. after the election. So, we can Yeah, maybe after her. the election, we will uh, we will re-interview her. Yeah. And uh, masaya ako. Uh, ewan ko sa inyo, pero ako masaya ako kasi masaya yung flow yeah. conversation. Yeah. Although kinakabahan ako at uh, Real talk, kinakabahan ako sa mga topics, oh, sa mga kwan. So, maraming salamat po oh, sa lahat yeah. po. Again, yeah. Ayan. Thank so, you so much this opportunity, brothers. Ha. This is an honor no? na makausap personally, uh, oh, na, sa, sa Zoom lang, pero personally si, si Doc Clarita. Nakakaba, pero it's so, ano, uh, parang privilege ka no? no ka makatanong somehow sa kanya at makakuha ng, you know, wisdom galing sa kanya from from yeah. from a very broad perspective spectrum ng mga topics na somehow mara alam ko personally wala akong alam 
And and somehow, mm-hmm. maraming nai-inject. Hindi lang sa akin, but sa ating mga viewers. So, ang natutunan ko din kay uh, Dr. Clarita Carlos is, um, kapag uh, meron, nung nagbabasa ka ng news, you, mm-hmm. you, you have to go for extra mile. Like, two sides. Two sides. Not just one source only. So, yeah. May natutunan ako doon. Mm-hmm. And also, aside from that, to add, no, I also learned about her that um, there's really a lot of potential of our country, you know, and in terms of resources and even our capacity as people, you know, we have a lot of skills and talents. So I think ang message lang talaga ni Professor Carlos is we can really go ahead in, in, and we become uh, first country in the in the next few years to come no all we need to really to choose right leaders and we can start it by by this coming may 9 to choose the right may leaders 9 that, lumabas po kayo lead Umabas us to our county for the next 6 years and let's also take this uh yung yung pers- perspective niya to have a constitutional reform the parliament system Tama. what are the benefits that we could have this kasi ito yung something na nakikita niya that would change really drastically our our situation in our country but let's have keep the open mind we are not telling anyone or the the viewers to really just take it yeah. as is as is but to really have the open mind to really understand the every angle of the situation no? the the war between ukraine and and russia was really the story behind it who is really the 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 actors who are the actors of it and even how how can we really uh, maximize our, our resources and capacity, capabilities as Filipinos. So yun, yeah. maraming salamat po. At lumabas po kayo sa May 9 at bumoto po kayo. Ayan. Uh, exercise your vote. Uh, exercise your right to vote. Yun. So yun, uh, maximize it and it's your right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yun, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for sharing your time with us very early in the morning, but we made it and despite the diffi- technical difficulties, nagawa natin. No? Nagawa kinabahan talaga natin. Tayo, uh, kinabahan talaga tayo kasi may nagkaroon ng technical problem and we are we are slightly wasting her time, precious time. But because uh, it it made, uh, parang meant to be talaga na ma-interview, makausap natin si Professor Clarita Carlos. So thank you yes, so po. much guys. So we are so very uh, honored and privileged to have you okay, so, with us this morning. Oh. So see uh meron po kaming mga next episodes po. Also see you next episode guys in behalf of Ice Big Talk Show. Uh Miss Teresa, do you have any uh programs in coming programs? Uh, so far Fierce Aging po. Just abangan niyo lang yung mga postings ko sa Fierce Aging. For now sa live uh Lilo muna tayo. Okay. All right, yes. bro. So magbabalik yan si Teresa. Mag- Alam natin yan. <laughs> <laughs> Maraming salamat po guys and salamat po sa lahat ng nanood, nakinig, nakikomment sa sec- uh, comment sa comment section. And yun, uh, this has been a uh, Ice Peak Talk Show. Magbabalik po ang Ice, Ice Peak Talk Show sa mga uh, iilang episodes at marami pa pong guest na nakalinya. So, yes, maraming salamat po and Congrats. This is Nel- this has been Nelson. This has been Marlon and Miss and this Elsa. Is yeah. Maraming yes, salamat guys. po. And- yeah, ingat po. See you. Bye. See you next, episode, next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Heavenly God, thank you very much for this day and opportunity. We are able to express ourselves as well as our guests. Thank you for the gift of life, talents, family, friends, as well as obstacles, struggles, because you made us stronger each day. Please continue to guide and enlighten us through each day. We glorify you always, God. Amen.
Always connected shouldn't mean always at risk. By now you've heard of identity theft and the importance of protecting your most valuable assets, yourself and your family. At ID Seal, we know a thing or two about cybersecurity. We combine that knowledge with industry-leading technology. Our thorough surveillance eye goes to the depths of the dark web and sees everything from social security numbers and medical IDs to social media accounts and more. Armed with decades of cybersecurity experience and state-of-the-art technology and tools, ID Seal goes to great lengths to monitor every possible entry point that could compromise your data for you and your entire family. ID Seal provides comprehensive protection for your identity. Protection starts the moment you register with ID Seal. We'll send you alerts and score trackers, and you'll have access to credit reports and scores. Looking to pay off a loan faster? The ID Seal Credit Score Simulator can show you how things may impact your credit score. And if you have children in the household, we will do more to keep them protected with Digital Spy for Children, Child Social Security Tracker, and Social Media Monitoring. Tools and features to keep you aware of threats of cyberbullying, profanity, overly explicit content, and more. With ID Seal, you get 24 7 lost wallet protection. You will have access to a team of specialists that will help you replace the contents of your wallet if it is lost or stolen. And we will work with you to cancel or reissue all documents that were lost. And for extra protection and peace of mind, your ID Seal membership includes identity fraud expense reimbursement insurance coverage of up to $1 million with a $0 deductible. Don't sign up for an ID theft protection service and then wonder if you're really being protected. Put your worry to rest with ID Seal's unparalleled protection that seals off your sensitive data from identity thieves. Our vision is a world where we can all log in, shop securely, check out and log out, sealed off to the fullest extent possible from the elements out there that intend to do us harm. Give them nothing to steal with ID Seal.